player, I know that uh, it could possibly hurt his career, but uh, he was very insistent, and I, I uh, salute him for that. 42 seconds remaining. Chris King, Kumalo Aquino against Kevin Holland. Dilabas na naman kay Chris King. Three points, shot by Chris King! It's good! Kira sinasabi natin. Chris King is hobbled. Ayan, he wins the tournament. Ngunit hindi dapat mabahala ang mga board. Tingin daw lumaro ni King. Ubig yan kumanding PC Rolid. Ang kaya po na. I think right now is on the last one. They're the ones who have to count. And they try to get two games from us. We hope for the best. Dapat hindi hit po at ayan ang last shot. Upang makabalik sa serye, ito ang Game 3 ng 1997. Jari Abariento ang nagpasimula ng laro na mahusay ng Alaska. Ngunit biglang pumutok ang Gordo sa pamagitan ni Chris King at Marlo Aquino. At pagkatapos nila Marlo Aquino at Chris King na bayani naman at sumunod na umatake si Tito Jarendo. Pumutok si Jojo Lastimosa pagdating ng third quarter. Ngunit hindi ko nakisapat para sa kanyang kumunan na naidikit niya ngunit hindi sila nakalamang. Nakatamo ng injury si Chris King. Ngunit sa isang mga milagrong tira, bumalik si Chris King sa uling 37 segundo ng laban upang kumana ng isang 3-pointer na nagbigay ng panalo sa kupunan ng uh, Goros Jin para sa mga ng bola. Gagawa ng kasip yan. Ngunit per kwari, mara, sinubukan niyang magdak ng maganda na hatak ang kanyang hamstring muscle sa pandang uh, kaliwang paa. At yan ang naging problema. Ngunit bumalik na siya sa dulo ng naro at kung kailan pinaka-importante at kinanin ang pinaka-importante yung 3-point shot na ang unang laro para sa kumunan ng Gordos. Dr. J. Kanina nakita natin si Chris King. Ito muna ang kanyang mga numero. 81, uh, 61% 3-point shooting. Kakaiba ito, Dr. J. Yes, and not, you know, the things that Chris King gives are the 11 rebounds. Magaling may pensa at tumuli sa defensa ni King. That's why he's a big player that's not Kino. Enjoy si Chris King. Kanina nakita natin si Chris King. Kaya in his body, mamapasin nyo. Iingang-iingang ng konti ang import na ito. Obviously, there is a problem. Meron siyang hinihindang sakit sa kanyang kaliwang hita at yan. Sinubukan lagyan ng uh, pampalunas sa sakit trap ito upang hindi ma-aggravate ang uh, kanyang hindi. Ngayon, ang questions dito. Ang mga punat may taunting break sa insayo ng Gordon's Gene Boards. Sila ay naghahanda para sa si at mababatid natin ang wasik king sa sahig sa kasalukuyan. Si Chris ay tingin ang kanyang... ...sa mga local players. Nagtaliin kita. Ito ko ng Alaska. Lastimosa. Bailout shot. Wala. And Kino. Yeah, definitely. He's a big player and uh, he has a lot of confidence. So, medyo umakit ang laro. Pero importante dyan yung defensa ng Gordos. You see that uh, play again. Maganda ang kanilang dinipensa. Nagahanap si Dudut na magpapasahan. At ang hanap yung Maro Aquino. Nakalikit na tolad sa kanya. Pag nadamdi, may papasok ang kanyang tira. Sila 2-0 lead in favor of Alaska. That's the way it's been in the series. In the first quarter, Alaska has always had the lead here. Pero humahabo lang Gordos pagdating ng second and third quarters. No? Ito ang dito. Johnny Abarientos. Dr. J, something na talaga nakikita natin ginagawa ni Johnny Abarientos. At is Valdebid. Mukhang meron siya konting lamang. Nakakaya niya. In other words, siya wala siya takot kay Valdebid. He knows his movements can get him around uh, Valdebid. Valdebid has got to do something on offense to make Johnny work a little bit harder. Dolly Lockstein. Against Bo Hawkins. Wala pang makuha mga puntos. Ang kutunan ng Gordos kontra sa Alaska. And we have Anthony Suntayo on the latest report sa panig ng Alaska. Anthony? Well, Coach Tim Ford reminded his players, I'm very proud of what we've done in this conference. Just keep it up. Whether we win or we lose in this conference, I'm proud of what we've been able to do. We've been able to rebound. Sabi niya, tonight, stay positive. We can win this game. We'll see what Chris King can do. But dito nakikita natin, hindi naman nag-alaro si Chris King. We'll find out what Chris King can do and come out even stronger dito sa laro nito. Let's go back to you. A steal by Johnny Abarientos and a play consummated by the dreaded Alaska Triangle, Hawkins, Abarientos, and Lastimosa. All of a sudden, it's just a 6 to nothing lead. Alam mo, ibang ibang kilos mo pag alam mo yung one of your best players is not playing with you. Medyo, you don't feel comfortable eh. Parang wala yung kompihansa nila doon. And really very, ang defensa ng Alaska is really cramping them down. Wala pa rin na i-score ang kupunan ng Gordons playing with much handicap sa laban na ito. They're without an import. Chris King is injured at uh, chances are we won't see him in action tonight unless of course necessary as reported by Butch Maniego, Johnny Abarientos out to Lastimosa, yes. Lastimosa connects and it's an 8-0 score para sa panig ng Alaska kailang buwising ng Gordon, tignan natin kung gagawin nila Appreciate quality, Outlast Battery, winner of international awards for quality Okay, tuloy ang action, ang Gordon still looking for their first two points hindi pa rin nila makukuha 
At ang depensa, Dr. Jay ng Alaska, talagang hindi malusutan ng Gordon's Gym. They're sorely missing the presence of Chris King. Yeah, they're missing that uh, presence from the outside. At the same time, medyo may kumpihansa naman yung uh, kalaban. Let's see if they can get something off the break here. Kailan may icebreaker ka dito eh. Paul David, binigay kay Noli Luxin, but Noli Luxin losing his footing. At tatawagin sa ng offensive foul against Dodo Lastimosa. Well, the referees of this ball game are referees Del Leon, Chua, and Tangonan. 8.26 sa first quarter. Hindi pa nakakakuha ng mga puntos o ng punto man lang ang kupunan ng Gordon. They're hoping for form, looking for Chris King. Pero as, mas maaga siguro Dr. J na malaman nilang wala silang Chris King, the better for this team. Yung nga masama sa kanila eh. They, I think they played around with whether to let him play or not for so long a time. Hanggang ngayong umaga sa sinasabi maglalaro, hindi maglalaro, maglalaro, hindi maglalaro. Pati yung mga players siguro. You know, we have to know, maglalaro ka ba o hindi ka maglalaro para alam namin ang gagawin namin. Importante ang uh, mental setup ng kupunan. As we see Chris King, naka-uniforme yan. Pero kanina nakita natin sa ating three game, malaki yung iiga-iga na naglalakad. Yeah, he, he cannot run, but he can shoot. See, nakikita natin sa practice yan, nakaka-spera siya eh, no? Paul Hawkins, nakita natin kanina sa leading uh, newspaper na isa sa mga who's hot and who's not. Si Bong Hawkins nakita natin doon sa who's not. His numbers are down dito sa first two games of the Commissioner's Cup Final. Well, it can certainly go up. You know, this is a great opportunity for him because he, I think he will have a better of a matchup dahil kulang na is malaking player ang Gordon's outside shot here. Still nothing for Holland on the other side also. Shooting 35.5% from the field sa first two games. Kevin Holland missing another shot. They go to Marlu. Bread and butter play yan. He's on. Thinking three, still cannot find the range, but he's on recovers. Sa gilid bukas si Baldavid, he will take his own jumper. Ang layo. Still sobra. At rebound makukuha ng Alaska. They're up and running. Pasaki, Hawkins, Hawkins yeah. will finish the break, Dr. J. 10-0 commanding lead Kailan para sakupunan ng uh, Alaska. You know, David has really given them hardly anything on offense. No? He had that best game in that playoffs, but from then, it's been all downhill. Malibring tira, hindi na maishoot. Sinisetup up na nga ng mga kanyang mga kakakampi, no? And it's a 10 to nothing lead as Alaska tries to break the game wide open here in the first quarter. Ito po ang game number three. Tandaan po ninyo, ang koponan ng Alaska ay hindi pa nananalo and Marlo Aquino just gave Gordon the first two points of the ball game. Well, Marlo, I think, has been the steadiest local player, no? Uh, after their import siyang medyo kumakamada para sa kanilang uh, kuponan. Marlo Aquino averaging 19.5 points per ball game. Si Lago hindi makatatanganan ng pasa. They have 4 seconds to step pa si Holland. Holland bothered ng presence ni Marlo Aquino. Yun naman ang masasabi mo kay Marlo Aquino. The mere presence of Marlo Aquino can change shot, Dr. J. Saka ang gusto mo kay Marlo Aquino, he really knows how to play the center slot very well. Which means what? Rebounding well defensively and helping out defensively. Pag nalusutan yung kakampi mo, habol ulit, tulong ulit. Dr. J, dito sa ilalim ng uh, goal ng uh, Alaska, sinisutan. Merong mga fans na Gordon sa merong uh, daladalang bandites na kulak. At saka Dilaw at katarik si free throw. Ito katulad dito si Kevin Holland just connected on his first free throw. Pag uh, magsi free throw yan, nilalante ng mga fans sa ilalim si Kevin Holland. Kaya na nakikita nyo. Ano na nakikita natin sa NBA pero mga yeah. lobo ginagamit eh no? And they use a lot of things in the NBA. At saka grabe yun. Mahahaba pa ngayon yung sticks na mga ginagamit nila na talagang may ilang ka talaga doon sa mga kilos ng mga tao doon. No? Naalala ko, pinakamalalang nakita ko pang biso nila nung dumidira sila Rebert nung minsan sa venue na hindi ko matandaan. Mga picture ng mga nakabikini. Mm -hmm. Ito, hindi pa nakakascore. Saka ang sama ng tira ni Val David. Yeah. Bukas si Lastimosa. Sa corner, wala. Rebound kinuha ni Dudut Jaworski. Ito naman ang masasayang mo dito sa anak ni Gonsan ni Jaworski na to. Fighter ito. Ito, boom drive. Kapos, ando si Vin Season. Vin Season, 2 fake, 3 fake, hindi makakuha. But he gets his own put back. Well, yan ang puso na lang talaga yung linalaban mo doon. Dahil ang lalaki mo nasa ilalim, that includes import Kevin Holland. Pero hindi umaayaw si Vin Season sa kanyang follow-up shot, no? Pero believe ka pa rin Dr. J sa depensa ng Godos. Aatake na sana si Johnny, but quickly nando si Marlo Aquino upang tulungan yung kanyang partner sa ilalim. Hawkins bumato, ang tira. Walang pag-asang pumasok, Pilipit ang paa. 
Baldabid has to score, has yet to score this ball game. Bill Season has two points on the putback. Bill Season driving in, ang pasa niya. Nakuha ni Holland at matatapik, but he ran out of space sa ilalim Dr. Jen. Eight point lead para sa Alaska, early goings of game number three. May timeout na. Bakit hindi pa nagkakata? Nag-timeout. Nag-timeout ng Gordon. So they'll have it at the three minute break. Five minutes, 13 seconds, 10 seconds on the shot clock para sa Gordon. At dito kita tatalunin ng Dr. J. Ang Gordon is shooting 20%. Ang daling kwentahin, no? Two out of ten. Hindi na naman nakakuha ng mga puntos ang Gordon sa kanilang huling atake. Bong Hong isusubok ang atakein si Dudut Zawarski. Wala ang kanyang tira. Shooting horrendous in this series. And he's first to score on two tries. Umatake si Jojo Lastimosa and he's trying to attack the defense put on him itong Gordon. That's gonna be a foul on Joe Worski and Jojo Lastimosa who has four points in the ball game will now go to the free throw line. Kita mo doon sa huling foul na yun. Alam mong anak ni Sunny Joe Worski si Dudut. Diba? No three-point play. No layups. Yan po ang palagay ko. Kinalakihan na ni Dudut. So yan, eh dinadala niya rito. Lastimosa will have to earn his points. By the free throw line. Four minutes and 50 seconds. Trece na ang puntos ng Alaska. Apat pa lamang ang pinupuntos ng Gordons dito. And they have really been struggling with their offensive game. Yung half-court game nila all of a sudden becomes completely different. Nawala yung kanilang three-point shooting. And it's been a struggle for them. Baldavid's been struggling in this series. Ito po ang game number three. Ang kupunan ng Gordons up 2-0 sa kanilang um, pinakamaiinit na karibal ang kupunan ng Alaska. Dudot na sa gilid, they have 9 seconds to shoot. Too much drip there. Ito, libre. But nice setup job for the beat. And, and yet, hindi makakuha ng puntos Dr. J. They give it to Luxin. Luxin, pumihit. Tumira, short on his shot. At ito, susubukan na naman tumakbo. Ng Alaska, but a foul on the Luxin on the backcourt. At naalarma. Si Coach Sonny Jaworski, he will send it Benny Cheng for the foul trouble. Dolly Luxin was two quick fouls early in this ballgame. Ladies and gentlemen, no substitution. They should go back on the court. Alam mo yan ang player na hindi mentally is not prepared. You know, umakat ka alis. Alam mo naman hindi ka basta sa substitution. You don't hear any buzzer. You go back and you defend. Alam mo, Dr. Jay, kung mental preparation lang ang pag-uusapan, itong kukuna ng Porto sa Balito ay hold up in a hotel. Basta sama-sama sila sa team, nakatago sila sa isang lugar. At yun ang minarapan ni Coach Sonny Jaworski. Ang term sa basketball parlance is nakakuwaters ang mga player. And they did it after game number two, no? So, siguro gusto nga nila ay magsama-sama sa... No, look, since struggling, struggling, just can't get anything going. No, it's 12 points in the second quarter of game number two. Has yet to score any point in this ball game. So, quickly, Valdabid, iiwan na si Lago. May tulak doon. Valdabid, sits the middle. Hindi siya makashoot ng jump shot, but finally, he comes up with a layup na medyo mahirap, no? Mahirap, no? Yun ang tirang Pilipit, pero isa pa Dr. J kanina, napag-usapan natin sa opening natin. Ito ng puso, puso ng Alaska. At ang puso ng Gordon's Gin. Ito ba, Dr. Gin, nagugulat pa sa klase na nilalaro nitong Gordon's Gin sa dalawang games na nakita natin? Yeah, I think uh, what I've seen in their last two games was an improved game in defense, no? Tulungan, no? And that's what has helped their team. I don't think they... I think they finally realized that to win championships, masamang pasta nung kay Hawkins. You have to play good defense, no? Si Hawkins yata, ang tingin doon sa kakampi, eh, eh nakapulay, nakanaw. Itinasa sa kalaban, at nakuha ni Marlo Aquino ang kanyang dalawang puto pang uli. He has four points hindi ko all scorers sa panig ng Gordons but pamal po kami after this timeout at ang tira ni Marlo Aquino Time for Alaxan also for rheumatism and arthritis even for toothaches Okay Dr. J ang ating score sa kasulukuyan as we see ang ating presidente si Mr. Ricky Veles enjoying the game dito sa ating game number 3 14-8 ang ating score 259 remaining sa ating second quarter Kasama ni Mr. Ricky, of course, ang ambassador sa Guam, si Mr. Tony Villamor. Yeah. Ito naman si uh, Congressman Margarito Teves. Aquino trying to finish off a three-point play. Malakas. 
one of the weakness that he has yet to work on or he, I think he is working on yung kanyang free throw shooting dog today yes definitely eh alam mo na ilalim ka madalas ka mafafaul dyan pupunta ka sa free throw line pero kung katulad ka siya kaman siya mo free throw may problema mo alam mo kikitin ko si Marino hindi naman alado paling adon tingin ito balde sa kilo nil may problema ng konti sa kanyang paningin yata short ng tira ng last team mo sa Baldavid inagawang bola and there's a quick foul wala na wala na ang tagal ng ano hindi naririnig naririnig yung Peter dahil Ibang klase po ang uh, dami ng tao dito. Easily, sabi ni Dr. J. Tansya, Dr. J, mga 12,000 to almost 13. Because this really not be 13,000. Pero kung talagang dikit-dikit, parang sardinas, especially in the gallery section, maybe. No? So this should be about an uh, easy 12,000. A couple of more thousand people outside there. Yon, ang malulungkot, hindi nakapasok. Oh, alam mo, okay lang sa kanila. They wanted to see their uh, player fans. The fans wanted to see their players come in. Okay na sa kanila yun. Eh. Pero sigurado ako, milyon-milyon ang nanonood sa atin. Sa kanilang mga tahanan ngayon, sa game number three. At binabati po namin kayo, kahit sa sulok ng Pilipinas kayo, nando doon. Sa ngayon, ang, uh, nakakalamang po, ayoko po na ng Alaska kontra sa Gordon. Samantala, ang pasak ni Bong Hawkins, kanyang nabitawan. Ipapasa niya sana ng patalikod at foul ang itatawag. Number 12 yan po si Vin Season. First foul ni Vin Season pero lima na ang team fouls ng Gordon. So they will be in the penalty for the next 2.09 left of this first quarter. Animal lamang ng Alaska. Low scoring first quarter. Especially for Gordon to who have been struggling with their uh, percentages. Season against Lastimosa. Bibigyan ng isolation but Dr. J. Pilip ako sa depensa nitong Gordos. Ang bilis kumulong yeah. pag kami isolation na uh, sa kanilang mga kakampi. Sot ang tira ni Bong Hawkins. He's on two points so far in the ball game against Lastimosa. Tatawagan ng illegal defense sa first of its nature. A warning para sa panig ng Alaska. Eh, nakita mo that in that play, Bong Hawkins was sagging off his man. He was already in the three-second area. Binabantayan niya siyang spot. And we call that illegal defense or actually zoning. Ang uh, binabantayan, hindi tao. Ang binabantayan, spasyo. Spasyo. Dudu takes three. Dudu will not get it this time. Pero may foul na itatawag sa ilalim. Could be on Benny Cheng. Yeah, he push off. They are in the penalty. That's a loose ball foul. It will mean free throw shots, I think, for Lago. Two free throws ang bibigay kay uh, Dwight Lago. Si Dwight Lago, nung uh, tail end ng uh, semifinals, nakita natin yung pagtutok ng kanyang laro. No? He averaged nearly 50 points per ball game. Dwight Lago was coming from uh, a trade with uh, Pure Foods. Naipasok ang kanyang unang free throw. Produkto ng uh, Lasal. At sa po ay merong kapatid, naglalo naman. Para sa kunan ng Pure Foods naman, ano, uh, hindi na sila nag-abot doon dahil nalipat na siya dito. Si Elmer, of si course. Si Lago. And of course, he's also a Phil American uh, who's, uh, who's stayed in this country for quite a while right now. And talagang kanyang forte, more of uh, scoring the offensive sack. Limang puntos ang na-score nito si Dwight Lago nung uh, siya ay naglaro ng 22 minutes sa game number 2. The worst he's gonna get another hook first quarter the way it's going. I got another pass to Dr. J, but he's on face to face. Uh, uh, si eh, Dr. J. Yep. You know, you cannot afford misses like that underneath the basket, especially if you're trying to come back into the ball game. No, Nagi is struggle ka. Especially if it's a championship series. Ito si Bong Hawkins is open. And yet, pumalya na naman si Bong Hawkins shooting 2 of 8 from the field. Ito, bukas. Si Benny Cheng, inatake niya si Bong Hawkins. Well, yan is another gutsy type of player, uh, Benny Cheng. Ah, matigas din tong player na to. Sometimes Dr. maganda laro, sometimes hindi. So consistency, ang kulang pa rin ni Benny Cheng. But he's a good backup player. He's a nice player to have on the bench. That's a nice uh, backdoor play para kay Johnny, double teaming. Pilip, Dr. J ng uh, reaction. Hindi makakatira. And Dr. J, what defense ay pinakikita nito? Three seconds to shoot. Exactly. Abagetos from the corner in the nick of time. Nakakana ng tira pa mula sa gilid. Well, may konting diferensya ang game clock at shot clock dito. Almost about two seconds. So, Gordon's really should play the clock. No? Because uh, silang umahabol dito. I don't think they want to go with an early shot. Pablo Aquino, Monte Paco Baranas, shot! He gets away! And Dr. J, yung kanyang finger roll na yan, despite... Having to pull his shorts up, na isut pa niya. Two that, seconds to shoot. Alam ni Johnny ang oras. Three points yet, and that will be short. So sa pagkatapos ng ating first quarter, 18 points para sa Alaska, 12 puntos naman para sa Gordon's Jane. Ito po ang game number three, first quarter tapos na.
natatakutan ni Tim Gonan. Second quarter explosion ng uh, kapunan ng group. Anthony. Okay, maraming salamat Chino. Ang pinag-usapan na sa locker room, 56-37 ang, ang na-outscore ang Alaska sa Gordon's Gym. And in fact, in the six-game winning streak ng Gordon's Gym, tinignan ni Tim Cohn, sabi niya, an average of 11.8 points, they outscored their opponents. Kaya sabi ni Tim Cohn, we have to be very sharp, especially in the second quarter. Balik tayo siya. Pinag-iingat ba ko dito kayo na sinabi ko yung uh, iniingatan ng uh, punan ng... Uh, Alaska. Alaska, yung explosion ng uh, Gordons na yan. Yeah, but of course, that's uh, anchored on a different situation. Uh, usually, King takes over in the uh, first quarter, and then he paces himself and allows the local players to come in and help him out. Or, he also continues to play hard. So, ganun yun eh. eh importante. Talagang, alam mo, even Cohen has said this, I read it in the paper, ayaw niyang labanan itong Gordons na wala si King. Because he feels it's a nice challenge to try to beat Gordons when they are complete. I mean, you know, when if King or Aquino is hurt, ang laki ng diferensya ng team para sa Gordons. Anybody else hurt in that team, kaya nila maglaro eh. You know, but those two guys are, I think, the key players on their team right now. Hinahanap nila yung kompleto para mas masarap ang uh, pagkakapalalo. Chris King at CFC Action As uh, reported earlier, the Butch Maniego, kahapon pa kami nagpapantay kay Chris King sa kanyang katayuan when well, they decided to uh, let him rest dito sa ball game ito. At least up to this point, this is the second quarter. Ito po ang game number three, ang uh, Gordon. Masasabi natin, Dr. J, it's a commanding 2-0 lead, ano? Yeah, it is a lead right now, but uh, you're already playing the third game, so if you lose, all of a sudden, it's 2-1. Baba. Nawala na, ano? Winyo, hindi may second. Three uh, second violation. At si Hongis, baba to na naman. And his uh, problems continue, Dr. J, shooting two out of nine from the field in this ball game, si Bong Hawking. Yeah, the teams are shooting poorly. Three-point shot by Heeson. Wala. And uh, good boxing out tactics against Wilmer Ong. But somebody's hurt, and that happens to be Port Suino. Picks himself up, however. Tatawagan ng handshake si uh, Benny Cheng against Bong Hawking. Ang dalawang produkto ng NCAA, of course, one coming from uh, Mapua, si Benny Cheng, the other coming from Perpetual Health. Yeah. Two team fouls now contra sa Gordons, they're down by eight. We are in the second quarter, if you'll uh, surprise with the score, medyo talagang mababa dito, dalang percentages for both teams were below 30% dyan sa first quarter. Pidoha rin, so what an explosion doon sa ating uh, second uh, game, sa game two, sa, third, sa second and third quarter. Ipinasok sa ball game para kay Bal David and two quick fouls on Benny Cheng. So, delikado si Dr. J, yung uh, Dr. J ang uh, tayo ni Sunny Jaworski. He has to pull out yung uh, kanyang uh, relief, uh, yung relief uh, guard niya, oh, forward rather. Pero foul din ang uh, natamo ni Benny Cheng, dalawa na rin yan. Correct. White Lago shaking off uh, nice shot. Vince Heeson. Vince Heeson, pinit na yun, Dr. J. And he has the height advantage over Vince Heeson, so he can shoot over his head. Biggest uh, lead of the ball game again for uh, Alaska. Ten points right now. They go to Marlu. Marlu. Hindi niya makukuha, but Wilmer Ong is there at foul ang itatawag. Number 18, and this will be on Wilmer Ong. Wala na rin ako ang tawag ang Gordon Steele at this stage of the ball game. Agrabyado na sila, and they will have four quick fouls, 14 fouls, with only two and a half minutes gone by. Magpansi, ang hirap ang bubunuhin na ito. Napakadaming fouls na. Nang uh, nakikita sa panig ng uh, Gordon. And Sonny Jaworski caught talking to the referees. They're playing again with much handicap. Wala ang kanilang import. Short ang tira pa sa kay Holland. Ang tira ni Holland. Namamalahib. Namamalahib sa kay Marloki. Yeah, no, he's Dr. been missing those kind of shots. You know, in the series. Layups na yan. Ang gandang pasa ni Hawkins. That should have been an assist. He should have dumped that thing. <laughs> Sama ng laro ni Kevin Holland, Dr. J. Pumawid yata sa isipan ng mga... Nagmamayari ng Alaska na ikubi na rin itong import na ito pero hindi nila ginalam din ang alanghanin ng mga kalagayan. At stage, medyo hirap na yan siguro. Pero alam mo na nasa kondisyon. At the same time, wala sa kondisyon, wala rin. Wala rin. So they're sticking it out, sticking it out with uh, Kevin Holland. Bukas si Lago at 1 million. Four straight points. Para kay Boyd, go for 10 points. Ang mali ni Heeson doon, dumodouble team siya kay Holland against Aquino. Aquino. Holland has not proven that you should double team him when he goes up against Marlo Aquino. You must guard those guys that can shoot from the outside, those medium-range jump shots. 
Unod na nga ni Lago na meron na apat na straight na puntos. Marlo Aquino at 8 points in the ballgame. Nakatawagan naman ang offensive foul. Against Aquino. Kevin Holland. Let's see that's a personal foul. Let's take a look at this play. That he established position. He's moving his feet. That's the problem. More or less he has established. Ang problema niya, he was also trying to move his feet to get around where Marlo was moving to. Hindi naman nakita niya yung paan na yun. Pero sa slow mo, nakikita natin. So, second personal foul on Marlo Aquino. Napaka-valuable ng asset ni Coach Danny Jaworski. Averaging close to 20 points per ball game. He has 8 in the ball game. But he has 2 fouls na po si Marlo Aquino. They go to Holland. Holland having his own problems against Marlo Aquino. Titira! Quote it away ang kinitira. Why will you avoid training? He has not proven that he can take Marlo Aquino one on one. They begin also into the ball game. Anton si Marlo, may double team. Si Pito Jarencio. Will he explode? That's a two-point shot. He was stepping on the line, but a nice come off the bench. Now, magandang tira ni Pido Jarencio. They go to Hawkins. Ito, masama ang itinitira dito. Seat completed by Gordon. Itong kukunan ng Gordon playing without an import, pero nagpapakita ng puso. Jarencio will shoot, but he will miss. Walang foul na itinawa. He was hit by uh, Fernandez in that play. Sinuyod ang kanyang uh, liko di Fernandez, but Fernandez got away with it. Ito Alaska working yung kanilang ikutan ng bola. Hawkins sinakyan na ni Jarenzo, but sa lakas ng katawan ni Hawkins, yeah. naipasok pa rin niya yung kanyang tira. Good assist pass there. And, uh, alam mo, nakikita nila yung uh, movement. This is a nice pass by Coach Winyo. Hawkins has a chance to complete the three-point play. Ginawa na lahat ni Pido Jarenzo pagpigilin si Bong Hawkins, but Hawkins just converted sa kanyang 3-point play opportunity. So far, si Hawkins, 6 na puto sa labang ito. Including 46% dito sa Serie A, Dr. J. It will now be a penalty situation for Gordon. Uh, they have 5 team fouls already with 7 minutes to go. And wala pa rin team foul ang Alaska dahil hindi ata marunong sumaw lang Alaska. Nakikita mo, Dr. J, doon sa sigaw ng mga tao, may sinisigaw sila. Normally, naririnig natin yun. Oh. Kapag yung mga liga na intercolot, oh. pag uh, ayaw nila tawag o oh, naargabyato yung isang uh, panic, sinisigaw nila yung uh, luto-luto. Pero hindi po yan ang uh, kaso dito. Umigo, si Pido Jarencio at uh, Fernandez. And uh, Pido Jarencio, nagkiskisan doon at nagtakbuhan agad yung mga manlalaro ng Godo sa Alaska upang tuluan ang kanilang parehong nakadabang mga kasama. We expect these things to happen in the championship series, Dr. J. So, panawari po natin. Well, dito, umagsak si Fernandez, pero tangay-tangay rin niya yung paa ni Pido Jarencio. So, he also lost his balance. But at the same time, I think Jarencio held on to his head, and Fernandez did not like that also, no? So, yun ang nangyari para sa kanila. 11-point lead here for Alaska. That's the first team foul called against Alaska in this quarter. Alam mo naman, parehong para mga Texas itong magsigilos itong mga ito. Marlo Aquino, binangga. He fails to convert, but he will go to the free throw line for two shots. The cone is giving his import all of the rest. Kaya nga, pinasok niya si Kevin Rama sa laro. He quickly, that two team fouls are called against Alaska. Si Marlo Aquino ngayon ay nasa free throw line. Habang tinitignan natin si Kevin Holland, ang kanyang imposing figure. Not too imposing in this ball game. Si Marlo Aquino, kanyang free throw shooting. 41% dito sa series ito and he continues to struggle from the line, Dr. J. Alam mo, unang-una, he plays so hard on defense that he becomes really tired as the ball game progresses. And this is where he takes effect on a player when you go to the free throw line, you know. May show na tinatawag natin. He said, oh, yun, medyo buenas lang siya. Sa dami na nagdadasal para sa Gordons, natulungan yung free throw ni Mago Aquino. Ang galing sa ibabaw. Halos, he did not reach the top because it would have been a violation. Pero, that was a lucky shot. Moses is back in the game. That's a 20 foul. Itang kita yung sinalya, Dr. Jane, ni Poch Winyo, si Nolly Loxin. At Nolly Loxin, hindi yan papayag na magma-atras man lang dahil sa kapirasong pwesto. 6-25, another guy who seated is Johnny Abariendos. Ibigyan ng tamang hinga ito. At kaya nandiyan si Boyd Fernandez sa loob. Sunny Jaworski digging deeper into his bench. Dispatching in Terry Saldana. Isa pinaka, kung si Jaworski ang veterano, ito ang second in command sa patandaan dito sa Liga. Well, kung magpapahinga man si... Ako, what a pass. 
Ito sila si Mosa. Aatake kay Gayoso. Bagsak sila si Mosa. Walang bagsak si Gayoso. Ang last si Mosa. Will he take two free throws? Bibigyan pa ito Dr. J ng dalawang free throws. Bibigyan pag nasa penalty na. Where is the penalty? Whether it's a match or whether it was in the act of shooting. Will Meong gave up that foul. Ten point lead dito para sa Alaska. Six minutes and ten seconds. Ito sila si Mosa. Twenty-eight points. In game number two, maganda ang kanyang mga numero. Eight rebounds and six assists. I think six assists in that ball. They really played well. I remember right, nung third quarter, Dr. J, nung game number two, yung explosion nila si Mwasa, ang halos nagpabalik sa kunan ng Alaska. But again, hindi nila nakayanan na ibaliktad ang laban niya. Kaya they're down 0-2 dito sa serye nito. He's also been struggling with his free throws in the last few games. Now, he missed two free throws in that ball game, including some technical free throw shots. Isolation play para kay Luxin. Luxin boosting, ginamit ang banda, and Dolly Luxin reminiscent of yung move na ginawa niya nung uh, game number two where he had one point in the second quarter. That was big for his team. Uh, they needed that uh, explosion from uh, Dolly Luxin. It's a nine-point lead for Alaska. Time down to five and forty-two. This is game number three, second quarter. Tinalya ni Hawkins, ang tira niya, wala pagsak. At baka matotrown out itong si Gilmarong. Yes, he threw him out. He's thrown out of this ball game for elbowing Bo Hawkins right on the face. Nag-aalangan si Chua eh, but then he eventually made the call because he saw the elbow thrown and that's his thrown out. Ito, panoorin nyo. He got the rebound here. He threw an elbow at sa mukha tumama. Ang sabi ito, he was boxing out. And Sonny Jaworski susugurin ngayon. Si Chua, nasa gitna na si Sonny Jaworski. Eh, ito kayo si Chua, tumakbo. Natakot si Tagot. Si Chua, iniwasan ang sigaw o ang galit ni Sonny Jaworski. Kaya si Sonny, talaga medyo mainit yung Chua yan. You know, he's always so scared if Chua is referring a ball game of Gordon. Si Chua, nakatayo sa gitna ng court, nag-iisa. At samantala, nagsisimula na pong umulan dito. Hindi ibuta sa bubong ng Gordons, ngunit meron mga fans na nagbabato na kung ano-ano. At meron pang isang bubato ng uh, bote kaya wala si Chua. Wala dito. Dapat, hindi na dapat nandito yan. And I think he made, honestly for me, the right call. Pero alanganin siya when he made the call. Eh. Nakita niya yung uh, sigaw na ibinigsak. But again, eto na po at umuulan na kung ano-anong uh, dumi sa loob ng uh, court natin. And still, Chua is... Uh, ay nasa gitna ng uh, board, nag-iisa. Magbe-break muna kami sandali sapagkat uh, umuulan ho ng konti dito. Club Roman Traditional Fit. Club Roman Jeans and Shirts. Club Roman. Okay, kanina po nakita natin ang pagkaka-thrown out kay uh, Will, Will Marong. Ang reason po doon, eh, yung uh, pagkakasigo niya ay tumama sa muka ni Bong Hawkins at ayon sa PBA rules pagka ikaw ay ng elbow kapag above the shoulders ibig sabihin pag tinamaan ng muka kahit na una pa lang yan eh, automatic na ejected ka as we see a missed free throw ni Bong Hawkins Dr. J. Mero rin na you see him it's slow mo that ilang beses si tinamaan ni Bong Hawkins sa muka si Will Marok and I think he came back and I really think he should have been thrown out because uh, he came back with that elbow and he was right in the face of Bong now there are a couple of things here the first of all yung technical foul then deliberate foul two free throws plus possession to Alaska so it was a big penalty that uh, Gordon took with you know Wilmer did not use his head you know I mean he's a player that they need in this ball game malaki siya makakatulong siya bakit siya magpapatapon ng gano'n, you know, when they need him, no? Puts Maniego, nasa tayo ng bets ng Gordon's Puts, what do you have for us? Well, Chino, pinausap ni Coach Sanjo, ito yung mga players niya. Sinabi niya, use your head. Kapag kayo tinitira, kahit sinasaktan kayo, huwag kayong garanti, napakahalaga ang bawat isa sa inyo. You have to find a way to stay in the game. Don't get caught up sa paggantihan sa laban sa Alaska. Balik tayo sa inyo, Chino. Doon mo masusukat, Dr. J, ang... Tulad ng uh, kakayahan ng isang uh, manlalaro, isang bitinahan ng tulad ni Sunny Jaworski. He's been through a lot. At alam niyo kung nasasabi niyo sa mga manlalaro, yung tulad ng hindi pagkaganti. Alam mo, pagka natamaan ka talaga ng siko, unang nasa isip mo, kaya malamig ang ulo mo, babawi ka. And you know, that's the worst thing to do eh. They always say yung mga talagang marurunan. Tsaka lang yun, di ba? Pipipi ka na lang. Alam mo, meron akong isang kilala, yung Pipi Gray na nagsasabi. Pagka tinira ka, hintayin mo makabalik, ano mo, binilaro sa akin naman din. 
And madali sabihin yung pa, bakit ko na nanonood sa atin. Of course, one of the uh, time great PBA, Simon Fernandez. Yan ang mga natatawag sa akin. Sa tagal tag dito, huwag kayong pakitang gaganti ka agad kasi mga hangganti ka rin yung somewhere along. Pero huwag yung garabal dahil siguro na tapang mahabang na talaga nun eh. So that's an 11-point lead now for Alaska, 5 minutes and 20. Talaga ito si Ramon, dami talaga tinuturo. Samantala si Jamie kayo sa kalabas. Atin, Dr. J, without an import, nakatoon tayo kay Marlo Aquino, Kevin Holland matchup. Ito ang magandang matchup dahil alam natin na namumuro itong si walang pagka si Aquino, yung kanyang kalaban, o nang mamalihibo siya. Bumalik sa sa ballgame. Fernandez dataan sa gilid, hindi siya makahanap ng puwang. Bibigay nila kay... We know, we know, traveling. losing footing at yun. Nakita ni Refri Tangonan ang traveling, ang 8-point lead para sa upunan ng Alaska. You know, maganda rin yung uh, at least huminto ka agad yung batuan. I, that's the worst thing. You know, a couple of coins flying against their Alaska bench. Tapos meron rin dito, natamaan pa nga si Maki De Hoya, oh. member of Kitten. <laughs> Okay, no? I mean, bakit ka magbabato ng mga points na ganyan? Maraming mga bata dyan, maraming nanonood na hindi naman dapat masaktan. Alam mo, maraming nang hihingi ng points dito sa Pasay. Ayun, gumanap si Kayoso ng isang three-pointer. And make no mistake about it, mga kaibigan, ang Goto slowly inching its way back. Down by of 11 points, 30-19, Dr. J ang score kanina. That's their most potent. But this is another the ball by Gayoso because he, they are in the penalty and that will send Lastimosa to the free throw line. He was really off, off the play, ah, away from the play. Nagkakaroon ng uh, movement. There was a kiss na kay Gayoso. Sila agad ng foul si JB. Si Lastimosa so far has 7 points in this whole game. With a departure, Dr. J of Jeffrey Cariaso, that's the last Pwede siyang hindi maghahapit ng todo na nandun si Cariaso sa bench, pwede sa palpalitain. At this time, mukhang maagap ang ilang lang sa maghahapit. Yeah, they have the same. Alakas kung ibang si Jeffrey. I'm sure he can say it. Have affected Alaska a little bit, no? Pero, they're still a poor team as they show. But they were 5 and 5. Bigla silang rinimati na anin na panalo sa semifinals, no? Out of the 8 games that they played. Yan ang sinasabi natin, eh. Hindi mo masusunan talaga kung gano'n kayang puso. Nang isang kapiyon, malalagay sila sa bingit ang kamatayan o masanda sila sa pader. Aparentos, by the way, Gino has come back to replace Boyet Fernandez, no? So he's matched up against Pido Jarencio. Jarencio thinking three. He will get his three points stop, Dr. J. That is the most put weapon of Gordon's. Yung kanilang ability to make three-point shots, no? Is Irino Rosario is egging his players. Wala nang foul dahil nasa penalty na tayo. Sa seryang ito, 31.3. That's a nice shot. Samantala, mabilis sa patay suno, ginawa ni Lago. As he converts from the corner, si Lago, meron nang naitatalang 8 puntos, Dr. J. Yeah, you know, he did not have a big game in game number 2, no? Dahil nag-i-defense siya kay King. They go to Marlo. Jarencio is open. Jarencio will take his 3. 2, 3 point shots, back to back. Alam mo, hindi pwede biruhin ng Alaska itong Gordons dahil hindi natin alam. Pag ito dumikit ang laban, baka makita mo si King sa laro. Yun just to shoot a shot or two, no? At ito, tumanagundong ang kuneta sa pagbabalik ng Alaska o rather ng Gordons sa laro. Ang Alaska ngayon, hitangan ng bola. Lastimosa, tumira, wala. Locks in as a rebound. A chance to tie the ball game or cut down the lead to just a point. Tatlong three-point shots ng uh, Gordons dito sa quarter na ito has given them just a three-point deficit. We have 2 and 56 remaining dito sa second quarter. Timeout it in goal. The official teams of the PBA. Sa kasulukoy ang potato lamang ang uh, kalamangan na tangan-tangan ng kupunan ng uh, Alaska in Terry Saldana na nagsimula ng kanyang karir way back in 1983 para sa kupunan ng Toyota Amaral sa Toyota. At a young tender age of 17 yata, hindi ako nagkakamali, Dr. J. Well, I think he was about 18, 19 years old already. Nagkaroon na na-experience yun sa Mika eh. Naglaro yun eh. Kasabay pa nga yan sila Yoyo eh. Sila Lazaro, sila Cristobal, sila Pasco. So he had some experience already. Coming off Latran also, no? Sa high school talaga naging star yan. But he has had these better years na. Eh, ginawa na lang ni Sunny Andres to maybe help out an old friend. Malaki, sa, pero malaking bagay, Dr. J, because dito sa larong ito, nailapit niya na. Dahil na dalawang punto, isang punto na lang, isang punto na lang, rather, and he gets a rebound, Dr. J. At ang veterano now, going to work. Marenzo, 
And let's just put papakita ng very good poise for Gordons in this championship series is JB Gayoso. Ayun ang veterano Dr. J, the only remnant of the original uh, champion team of 1991, JB Gayoso. That was the first opportunity for Gordons to take the lead, but Aquino missed the fadeaway shot. No, no, Aquino forced to come back earlier than gusto nila because Wilmer Ong thrown out of the ball game for that elbow shot to the head, to the face of uh, Bong Hawkins. Lastimosa working on Gayoso. Oi, yeah, traveling, traveling ay tatawag. And Dr. J credit JV Gayoso, who seems to be working on his defense. At eto overlook, palaging offense ang hinahanap siya ngayon. But in that last play, Dr. J, and in the past plays, eh talaga pinahihirapan ito si JV Gayoso, si Jojo Lastimosa. At saka yan, no, nabanggit mo na naman yung old warrior na si Terry Saldana, helping out with the umbrella-like defense. Eh, hindi siya makatira so obligadong bumaksak si Jojo with the ball in his hand no? just a one point lead para sa kupunan ng Alaska hand check foul on Kevin Ramas ang Gordons nasa penalty ngayon ng Alaska papasok na rin sa penalty with only a minute and 41 left dito sa ating first half mamaya po sa ating half time ang ating arena sa half time report ang ating half time summary at a uh, live performance of uh, the Philippines pride si Jocelyn Enriquez isa sa mga billboard chart pastors ang tawag natin sa kanya Pilipina na talagang gumawa ng uh, kanyang pangalan sa US Billboard Loxin gumagawa ng uh, kilo sa ilalim si Terry Saldana fighting for that possession and a jump ball forced by the uh, ang tawag natin sa kanya the old warrior <laughs> well the, yeah, the old warrior and um, it's about 38 37 38 years old parang si Yoye Villaminian you know, just about that range of the age. She still has that leaping ability, pero wala na yung sunod-sunod, no? And not that good a post-up player anymore. Dati, Dr. J, yung kanyang contra 10 kilos, ang talagang uh, abilib-bilib. Marlo Aquino, diving for the ball. Gayoso is open, faking. Tatawag, nagkahaman siya. He saw the opening, pero nagkilipit yung kanyang paa. Yeah, it's something that we always see from a Bong Rabena. You know, that, that move shuffle, that you, eh, want, you want to shoot ready, but then you make the shuffle and you don't put down the ball on... You don't dribble the, floor, uh, the ball. No? Johnny Aparientos, tightly guarded by Pito Jarenzo, forced to stop the dribble. Yun ang gusto, Dr. J ng uh, Gordos and Terry Saldana. Tapping that ball out. Si Bong Hawkins having an, a nightmarish ball game, shooting 2 of 9. Hindi siya makaporma and uh, we have... Mr. Andy course, Soriano III, the uh, president of uh, San Miguel Corporation. At Speaking of San Miguel, sa ating mga kapatid sa San Miguel Beer, congratulations, nanalo na naman ang ipinagmamalaki ng Pilipinas na San Miguel Beer sa gold, nakakuha sila ng gold medal, Dr. J, sa 1997 World Selection of Beer. So sa mga kapatid natin ng San Miguel Beer, congratulations, congratulations. and more power, and keep it up. Jojo with a three-point shot, and Lastimosa like a dagger in the heart, Dr. J. Pumuna ng three-point shot. At isang pihitan lang, balik sa apat ang abante ng Alaska. Nandun yung depensa, so you cannot blame the defensive player. I thought just uh, Jojo hit a very, very good shot at a very important time of the ball game. Oo, masyado malakas ang pasa. Ito ito, nakita ni Johnny Aparientos. Four-point lead, buka si Hawkins. He cannot shoot, ang matake sa kay Saldana, ang kanyang tira. And he gets a nice roll. So all of a sudden, bigla naging animal lamang dito ng, uh, ng uh, Alaska. It was down to one, and uh, Gordon had a lot of shots which they could not convert. Pero di different lang eight seconds between the game and the shot clock. Pareho na sa penalty now, no? Yes, nasa penalty na rin po ang uh, kabila, kaya hindi sila makafoul. Bukas si Jarenzo for three. Yes. Pero kuha pa niya, Dr. J. In this quarter, that's his third three-point shot. Pino Jarenzo. Pero may tira pa dito ng uh, Alaska. Yun. Nice crossover move by Johnny. Wala, maubos ang oras. This one is short. And that ends the second quarter with Gordon training by just three points. Ang Alaska 39, 36 naman para sa Gordon. Magpapalik po kami with a halftime summary. Call of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Exacto. At uh, papasimula na po ang ating uh, third quarter with uh, Alaska on top by three points. 39-36. Ito po ang game number three ng ating win questioner's cup. At uh, Dr. J kanina, pinapasok natin ang ating uh, mga dugout reporters. Again, sa ating uh, mga respective dugouts, katulad ng ginagawa natin dito sa series na ito. Ang uh, Gordons, nakatikit dito despite uh, 
playing without uh, risking at ang ating warrior. Pinapakita na meron pang natitira sa kanyang reserva. Yeah, and uh, I think Jaworski went to him right away dahil nakita niya binabantayan ni Lago. Who he probably feels na may advantage si Terry Saldana at the low post area. Meanwhile, si Holland also on the other end. Si Lopalpal, ibinalik yung uh, bola sa kanyang mukha ni Marlo Aquino. And Butch, anong sinasabi sa dugout ng uh, Gordon's kanina? Well, Chino, pinuri ni Coach Sani Jaworski ang efforts si Pido Jarencio, JB Gioso at Terry Saldana. Nareview din lang yung kanilang double teaming sa depensa. At sabi niya, huwag kayong double team pa si Marlo ang bantay kay Holland dahil kayang kaya ni Marlo yan. At isa pa, kinumend niya yung uh, kanyang team sa kanilang fighting heart. Dahil, uh, ang nilang gustong kusinalo, sabi niya, dalian natin yung uh, pag ating uh, paraan manalo by working together and sticking to the game plan. Balik tayo sa inyo, Chino. Anim na punto sa naig... Gagawa nito si Terry Saldana and he just gave Gordos the first taste of the lead. Bukas si Holland pamula sa ibabaw ang kanyang tiran na awa. Well, Marlo Kino helped out and that left Holland with a nice 15-footer. Pero Terry Saldana giving them some offensive suck and maybe putting a little pressure on the defense of Alaska dito sa second half of play. No? Almost a steal by Jojo Lastimosa. Alam ko... Si Tim Gon, eh, maraming uh, mga problema. Isa sa mga problema niya, parang yung fire ng kanyang team, wala doon. Anthony, ano naman sinabi sa dugout ng uh, Alaska? Wala naman sinasabi ni Coach Tim Gon sa mga players niya. The hardest thing to do here in the PBA is to play against a team without an import. Because one, you can be too relaxed. And number two, you might be too tight kasi gusto gusto niyo manalo at tambakan niyo isang team. Sabi niya, just relax, stick to our game plan, and we will win this game. Balik tayo sa'yo. At uh, habang ginagawa ni Anthony ang report, may tira si Bong Hongis bukas na bukas, hindi niya nakuha ang kanyang tira. Magsak si Noli Luxin at Dr. J, yung sinasabi nila, no, pag uh, walang import, parang iniisip mo, madali ang kalaban. Totoo kaya yun? Oh, that's gonna... Uh, and goaltending na rin yun, eh. Kasama na rin pumasok yung layup ni Johnny Abariento. So, balik sa isa lamang. Arencio, naipit ni uh, Dwight Lago doon sa baseline with his body and he's called for the uh, blocking foul. Pido Arencio had a tremendous explosion in the third quarter scoring three three-pointers. Ay, uh, tatawag or makakakuha ng foul si Dwight Lago. Bukas siya, inatake niya yung uh, depensa. Yeah, 11 points in the second quarter para kay Pido Arencio for them to come back. They go back to that play. Terry Saldana, mintay, minahanap niya yung uh, libre. Gayoso. He had one kanina sa second uh, quarter. Ngayon, wala. Ito si Johnny Abariento sa quickness. Binigay kay Kevin Holland. And that is what Johnny Abariento does so well. That's a dunk for Kevin Holland. Pass a plus possible three-point play. Ito si Johnny Abariento. Kung may whipping a pass, Kevin Holland. Halos hindi nakatingin Dr. J, but somehow, he felt someone was coming from his right side. Well, Kevin Holland got a good break because I did not see a foul there. You know, there's a slight push downstairs. He made the dunk. Siyempre, getting out of the way si Terry Saldana. So, a possible three-point play, pero not to be competed by Holland. Forty-five to forty-two ang ating score. Alaska hanging to a three-point lead. Terry Saldana was six points. In this whole game, Monte kang makuha kayo ka. Ocho puntos. And Terry Saldana has been used sparingly in this conference. Has come up big in this ball game. He has six points total. Dito sa ating uh, ball game ito, this is the third quarter. Makakakita pa sa ex extensive minutes because of the ejection of Wilmer Ong, Dr. J. Yes, uh, halos hindi na siya nakakalaro. Eh. Wilmer, of course, much bigger and much younger than uh, Terry Saldana. Pero sabi nga sa'yo, the old warrior may have a last hora. At, Dr. J, mabait pa sa kanya yung swerte. Uh, well, yeah, uh, meron naman talaga tayong panahon na uh, may araw uh, lahat ng swerte. Napupunta sa'yo, may araw naman, sobra malas mo. Vin Season, by the way, has come back to replace J.B. Gayoso. Still a two-point lead here for Alaska. Nine minutes and eight seconds left in this uh, third quarter of play. Terry Saldana, hindi ginamit sa first two games. Ngayong ginagamit sa Brady Stanhoff. Iyon ang shooter's bounce, Dr. J. Sobra, dalawang bounce nga yun. Bounce left, bounce to the right, and go in. So he's really getting the breaks in this ball game. This is game number three of the 1997 PBA Commissioner's Cup Final. Mismatch. Ani Abariento shooting. Wala rebound to Terry Saldana. Nagawa naman ni Bong Hawkins. And uh, almost another steal. Oh, oh another one. Tira, tira nito si Kevin Holland, Dr. J. Hindi ko alam kung mekaniko ito si Kevin Holland dahil mukhang may grasa yung kamay. Pero alam mo, Kevin Holland may be feeling and wilting under the pressure, no? I mean, this is a tank. One hands, medyo siguro madulas na rin yung bola. Baka pwede, pwede sabihin niya. Pero Dr. J, 
Tatlong beses ko na ata nakikita sa sering ito. It's either madulas na kami ni Kevin Holland dahil nakikita na mumutla siya sa sering ito. Tumira si Pito Jarenzo. Great point shot. And Sammy Jaworski elated with that shot. Itong kanyang kumunan na to. Hanging tough without an import. Playing tremendously well, Dr. J. Because I think the pressure is so much on the other side, eh, on the other team. Eh. Kaya nagkakaroon ng ganun eh. Kanina sinasabi nice natin. Move. Anong puso meron ito at si Bo Hawkins continues to struggle. Shooting 2 of 11, Dr. J, from the field. Marlo Aquino. Yes. And Tim Roll says, I've seen enough. I want time. At yan ang kanyang makukuha. So taken the lead on top by four points against Alaska. And they certainly have some momentum. Naoblika pa nga tumawag ng timeout si Coach Kohn. Five seconds on the shot clock. Arencio open. Again! The explosion from Arencio. He has scored just this fifth. Three points out of the ball game for a total of 17 big points. He is safe from the triple B territory. And that is seven point lead now being enjoyed by Gordon. Hindi nyo pong iisipin na naglalaro. Nang walang import, nakagawal pa ni Heason. Itong si Kevin Holland na hindi na binagpapawisan at hindi pa malama kung anong gagawin sa loob ng court. Minyal, may control na naman kaagad. Eh, walang pass break. By hindi ka ang ginawa ni Nolly nila Heason na pinahal Nolly Loxin. Double team against Loxin. He's gonna move out of the double team. Karenso will take another three points at this one is short. But there is Saldana for the loose ball recovery. Marlo Aquino, thinking great. Teka, wari lang yun. Ano yeah. lang, fake lang yun. Panakot lang yun, panakot. Uh, eh, wala nang naman movement dito ang Gordon, although they have a lot of time on their clock. Ito, binigyan ng high pick ni Marlo. Eason will take his own three-point shot. Wala. Rebound na kuha ng Alaska. That was a nice pick and wide pick given by Marlo Aquino. Jojo Lastimosa is coming into the picture. He's gonna have that open shot. So, and it's ayan. short. Mong Hongis, pag hindi pa naman na-shoot yan, hindi ko na alam. Libre-libre na siya. So ngayon, nag-improve ng konti yung kanyang field goal shooting, 3 of 30. Good shot there by uh, Kevin. Siguro na lang, Dr. Holland, baka tayo dumudula sa bullet, di kayo na kaya. Ipasa ko na lang siguro. Ito si Loxin, aso palpa, nakuha niya ang bola, but he was outside. Nakahiga na siya sa sahig at tumama yung kanyang balikat sa kilit. Nina Labi does come back into the ball game, giving Tito Harencio a much needed rest. Tito has been playing great defense with Danny. And Dr. J, kanina sa second quarter, nakabalik ang Gordon sa pamamagitan ng mga pukol. Ito si Tito Harencio. Tito Harencio, shooting from all angles. He had three, three pointers sa second quarter. At yan po ang isa sa mga high points nito ang ball game na ito. Dito sa kwarta na ito, tinuloy ni Harenzo ang kanyang mainit na kamay. Well, ang nangyari dito kasi dinobo team na naman na si Johnny up on top and Marlo went out to meet him. Ang problema, if you do that to Johnny, he's gonna find the open man. No look pass to a cutter on the weak side. No? 52 to 49 ang ating score. Terry Saldana and Gord. Wala. Rebound Marlo Aquino. Pumping in one. Two points again. Marlo Aquino, regular of teams, playing like an inboard. He's dominating Holland actually in this ball game. Offensively, defensively, he's dominating him, no? 54 to 49, bring Dr. J. Alak down to their lead. 11 points early in this ballgame. But it always happens in this series. Parati sila una-una. And Johnny Abrientos hack in the head. Parang ang Alaska Dr. J, may mga magnet ang paa eh. Parang mabigat yung paa nila dito sa game na ito. I think the pressure is telling on them. And of course, alam mo, when you let the crowd back into the ballgame, such as they did in here, eh, medyo you will feel the pressure a little bit more. Johnny did not do much against Renzo. He's doing his thing whenever the beat is the one guarding him because I think he's a little bit more confident. Uh -huh. Mas ayaw na yung body weight. Dr. J, si Johnny Abarientos kanina, maganda pa simulan ito sa first quarter eh. Iniwan niya si uh, Baldavid sa kanyang uh, mga kilos. Makakakuha pa siya ng bola. Still. Magiging steel yan at magkocomplement ng uh, fast break attack para sa kupunan ng uh, Alaska. Si Johnny Abarientos, ang ating scouting report sa kanya, well obviously, Johnny Abarientos is a cut big player, is an intelligent player, he has unlimited range crossover ang isa kanya play him physical and Dr. J yun ang ginawa ni Harencio kanina kay Johnny Abarienzo yeah, Harencio has really been playing in physical in this series and Sonny has sometimes also used some big players to play in physical ito si Johnny Abarienzo bibigay kay Lastimosa but Lastimosa ang pasa that's too wide at alam niya ni Johnny Abarienzo 
Mukhang wilting under the pressure. This is uncharacteristic of our Alaska team, Dr. J. Hindi naman siguro. I think Johnny knows it's his error. Hindi error ni Jojo yun. Jojo was running at the right place. Uh, he was setting himself up for a good uh, jump shot from the outside. Thank you. Terry Saldana giving up that pick. And the old warrior has done everything in this ball game, Dr. J. Wala bang error yan. Nakapagbigay pa ng uh, screen para kay Hison. Yes. Besides scoring and also defending against Hawkins, no? Itong si Sonny Jaworski pala, parang Madgero, yun, palaging merong uh, Meron beauty. mahanap. So, meron na bubunot, eh. Still cannot find the opening. Two seconds to shoot. Hawkins, hindi pa rin niya makukuha yan. And Hawkins, nagtutugun na ang ring sa kanya. Hison! No foul there, and Hison just let go of the ball. He didn't take it hard. Must come down on defense, and he, he and Lastimosa come down a little bit late. They go to Hawkins. 3 of 14 from the field, Dr. J.T. Hawkins. And shooting cannot go any worse than that, Dr. J. Apagentos, bigay ni Holland. Holland, hindi makaangat. Hindi pa niya makukumpa kanyang tira. Pero may foul yata si Benchen. Parang nagiging isa sa mga malaking butas ng Alaska ito, si Kevin Holland, Dr. J. We pointed that out. The shooting is down in this series. The shooting is down in 36%. Dito sa ballgame ito, hindi rin ganun kaganda ang kanyang ipinupukol. Saka meron bang uh, na, nagkakaroon ng mga slippery ball ang nangyayari. But he's not that bad from the free throw line tonight so far. No? 80% medyo aakit ng konti yan, 5 out of 6. At ang ating mga suki sa Commissioner's Row, ang uh, ating mga politicians na umangat upang uh, manood dito. And we have a shot of, uh, of course, The founding commissioner of the PBA, Leo Prieto, at ang hiyawan na yan para kay Chris King, Dr. J. I saw him at halftime, pinapasa ni Jaworski. He was moving a little bit better. I think Jaworski really wanted to beat him. Kung lalaro ang aking mga ka-locals, we can keep the game close, I'm gonna use him. Dr. J, hindi lang nailalapit eh. Nailalamang pa ng Gordons ang kanilang kupunan rather without a Chris King. Ayan, tumawag tuloy na 30 second time at si Coach Cohn. Alam niya, his team is in trouble. He wants to wake them up. And uh, yung pong uh, mundo ng uh, Alaska, unti uh, na nagugunaw sa harap ng uh, kanilang uh, paglaban sa Gordon dito sa game number. Dr. J, ano nangyayari sa Alaska? I cannot tell. You know, it's not the same team that we know them to be. Uh, they're feeling a lot of pressure, wherein before they are the ones who are putting the pressure on the opponents. Eh, medyo siguro parang uh, kulang rin kasi ang bigay ni Holland, you know, to lift them up. Eh. They have to make stops. Alam natin ang karakteristik ng Alaska. They play tough defense, but that defense isn't working in this ball game. They're down by six points, three or three remaining. Sabi ko nga, Dr. J. At yun, napapansin natin ang karakteristik of yung Alaska of old, yung uh, nag-champion ng tatlong sunod-sunod nung nakaraang taon. Yeah, actually, four straight championships yan going from the other conference of the year. King is at the scorer's bench. Tinanong mga players, how are we gonna play him? So he said straight up, which means no double teaming. So he does not know the extent of what, how he can move on the floor. Lastimosa, walang isolation because yes. ang double team, but he beats the double team in Jojo Lastimosa. Palaging bailout ka yan. Pag alam natin, dito kami pupunta. He's a great player. He's a great offensive player. And he's a clutch player also. Isolation play para kay Hison. Cannot go to his right. And Lastimosa knows that. Denying. Ako nakapihit, Dr. J. Wala ang tira. Tris Aldana. Again, diving and dying for that ball. He forces a jump. At medalya. Si Rino Salazar. Niyakap na agad. Si Coach Sunny Joe. We have this time out. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Johnny Amorietos, pinura ang kanyang tira. Well, he challenged Marlo Aquino in that play and he paid the price. Valdebid, meantime, waiting for his teammates to set up. Dahil nakita niya, mabilis ang balik sa depensa ng ala. Post up play para kay King. Tingnan natin. All eyes on Chris King and illegal defense itatawag sa panic ng Alaska. It will be a technical because they had one earlier. Si Chris King, mga kaibigan, 
nandito sa ball game at scouting report of this king si king ito NBA smart ito produkto ng NBA he is a prime time player very versatile underrated defensively ang isa kanya let him work at the post Dr. J at siguro go at that yung uh, kanyang injury Dr. J yeah not only that he's not uh, very good at dribbling uh, with his back turned to the basket he's pretty efficient pag nakaharap so pag dino double team mo sometimes he does commit the uh, mistakes of putting down the ball on the floor nasa swipe pero overall like you said prime time player when you're when they use the word prime time iba klase yun he's gonna set up for that three point shot three point shot Chris King this one is short but Baldevin swoops down for the rebound Johnny was there pero nato si Johnny Prietos binabasa ang kanyang tira tumawid ang ating Mazda van at yan ang pagkakataon tumama ng bagong kotse cash prices bon bon and Terry Saldana again playing the ball game of his life Maybe the ball game of his ending career, no? But medyo baka magkaroon ka ng reprieve niya pag ganyan. He's on, wide open for the three-point shot. He's gonna baby it. Nakuha rin niya. At iba Dr. J, ang uh, mata yung uh, Gordos. Alam mo yung nalilisik, yung ibang bangis na pinakikita nitong Gordos dito. Although a steal by Johnny Abayentos. Tignan natin dito, malaking uh, possession ito. Para sa kapunan ng uh, Alaska as we head down to the last... One minute and twenty of the third quarter. Okay, triangle play. Pero pagdating ng bola kay Holland, Dr. J, natitigilan sila eh. Kasi hindi siya basta titira kay Marlo eh. Ito, ladali niya si Marlo Aquino sa labas. Atakihin niya. Tatawagan siya ng traveling. Kung namin traveling or charging dahil pinipiyo ba niyang balikat. Pinaba niya. Sumusunod lang sa kanya si Marlo. Tignan mo si Marlo dito. Sinusundan na siya ng paa. Hindi siya, and he actually used the hand to push off against Marlo. Dr. Tumitignan ako doon sa stat sheets natin, itong si Terry Saldana, would you believe, has 11 rebounds in this ballgame? Well, hindi nakaka-rebound si Kay, so somebody has to pick up the rebounding. Well, up jumper, ni Baldabid, wala, rebound, bago na naman ni Terry Saldana! Tsaka nakaka-inis yun, dahil pagkuha mo, ilalabas mo ulit. He's on, and he's on, yes, a three-pointer! At nakaka-amoy ng dugo, ang mga pating ng Gordon, si Dr. J. Yeah, they're gonna come up with a real big... They have come up with a real big game at this stage. Now, their defense has held the last 54 points at this stage. At uh, maraming nagsasabi na hindi pa sila sigurado sa kakayahan nitong Gordon. Ito, ang kakayahan ng Gordon. Labang sila. Pagdol lastimosa, still at it. Ito, hindi susuko itong garulo. Yeah, he's that type of a player. He's a captain ball. Well, uh, you, you need somebody to take charge. Last shot time na dito para sa Gordon. No? Ito, tapos ang uh, nakapatay ang uh, shot clock. Ibig sabihin kanila lahat ng oras. 3 seconds. Pinigay ni Saldana. Saldana will miss. At dyan po magwawakas ang third quarter. Ang fifth quarter para sa punan ng Gordons. They're on top. 62. Riding high on Terry Saldana's 11 rebounds in this quarter. Alam okay, Merwin Castello doon. But a low post play for King. Pero Dr. J, yung mga ganong mga klaseng kilos against an NBA smart na itong si uh, Chris King. Ito ang kanilang uh, hinahabol. Napakaraming gustong makakita yung kalamangan yan. And would you believe, Dr. J, sa ating uh, serie, sa ating uh, PBA history, ang ating tinatawag na point of no return, eh itong point of no return na kinalalagyan ng Alaska right now. No team has ever come back in a best of seven series down by 0-2 dito sa ating history ng PBA. In the history of professional sports in the world, no team has ever come back from a PA zero deficit to win a seven-game series. That includes basketball, hockey, hockey anything. And, if, uh, and, and then, football pala, iisa yan. Uh, uh, itong NBA, of course, 3-0, mahirap yan. May pag-asa pang humabol ang Alaska. Ang question dito, at yung question natin kanina sa umpisa pa lamang, ay yung kanilang puso ka. Nato pa ba? Two seconds to go. Holland, bailout shot, but he will get the rebound. A little bit more grounding Holland here. Alam nyo wala sa mga itulong offensively, so tutulong na lang siya. Sakramento, samantala kay Saldana, hindi niya bibigay yung uh, two points na madali para kay Bokong. So, hindi just to bleed from the field, Dr. J. Their extra motion na yan because may loose ball foul na yan. Foul na yan dyan eh, hindi pa ma-attempt. Hinabol lang niya to make sure na wala nga ang possible three-point play. Pero it's a loose ball foul, so side court throw in. <laughs> Ayaw na rin tumira ng Hola, no? Medyo libre na siya ron. Lastimosa with nice move. Ito lang ang matabang Dr. J, but still, the best of Lastimosa, hindi makatulong sa kanyang kupunan. Well, kasi pinagtulungan siya. He had three guys guarding him as he went to the hoop. You know, there was King, there was Marlo Aquino. Dizon with a three-point shot. Not a good attempt. There was the low post play. Dizon's shot selection must be questioned there. And he knows it. 
Pero si Sunny, hindi nalang umaanga. But he looks in dismay. Pero sayang eh, hindi ba? Saka di nalang na sila ng ganito kalayo ng kanilang mga players. So, Holland, bukas at sa wakas, nakakuha rin siya ng magandang tira sa loob. Si Kevin Holland, merong 13 puntos ang kanyang kalaban sa loob. Si Chris King ay pumasok dito lang sa third quarter na ito. Sinusubukan lang siya. Now, they're posting him. Nakita natin sa scouting report. They must try and work him at the post. Ito, may mismatch. So, bibigay kay Marlo. Five seconds to go. Nabitawan ng bola. At aagawin pa ni Marlo Aquino. Last time si Meruy Castello as the ball bounced off his right leg. Well, there were a lot of hands there. Eh, hindi makontrol yun. Tumama yung uh, kay Merwin Castello on the way out. That's why hinahabol niya. Kung hindi, di papabayaan na niya lumabas yun. Eh. Ang nasa loob para sa Alaska, Fernandez, Lastimosa, Castello, Holland at Hockey. Si Lastimosa playing almost without relief, Dr. J. Well, they need it. Maldavid with a nice jump shot. All of a sudden, ginamit niya yung pick and roll. And having to shoot a hooper, he made it. So that's a big basket for Gordon. And this team is on a roll, and Boang Gordon on top by five. Five in this ball game, on top by two in this best of seven threes. Ito, asa kay Holland. Holland, finally. Ito, nakakakuha ng konti at nakakarigong. He has 15 points and 12 rebounds. Well, nandang passing niya niya. Okay, he's the double team, so pinapasahan niya. Bukas si Terry Saldana, isa pang kalimang damit na ganito. From the head, ito, Alaska, double team. He's a good ball, tried in good fashion. This Alaska team is in deep trouble. Ngayon, mga kaibigan, they're down to five points. But we have an eternity of basketball ahead of us. Yeah, marami pang oras yan. Nahagawan pa ni Isen si Lastimosa. And he's all susunod pa sa likod. Di Jojo Lastimosa. And no easy point. Not giving up. That's a good foul, Chino. Don't give him the layup. Actually, kung hindi winahan ni Isen ito, ang daling ipotek ang bola eh. But gusto niyang iwanhan, nangabot siya ni Lastimosa. Very easy to protect if you put your body there. But he's an awesome accurate free throw shooter, so... On a free throw niya on the way and hit bottom of the bin. At binabati po namin ang mga barangay officials and delegates of the Lakpay Aral Project from the municipality of Biocon, Sambuanga del Norte. At sa ating po mga kapatid sa Sambuanga del Norte, Buenos Dias, at we hope you're enjoying this ball game. Two free throws na even season nakapagbigay ng pitong puntos na kalamangan para sa Gordon. So again, off the steal, they were able to score. Pito na lamang, pero still a lot of time, 8.43. By the way, Saldana was taken out by Loxin. Eh, grabe naman yung palakpakan na inabot ni Terry Saldana. Lastimosa, met by a double team. Nabitawan ng bola, nakuha ni Valdez. At, Dr. J, nakita mo ang mga, mga mata nila, naka, wala na silang, parang walang buhay yung Alaska at this point. Loxin, finger roll! Against Boyd Fernandez. At gumubuho ng gumubuho, Dr. J. Ang Cuneta Astro sa harap ni Coach Tim Cohn. He wants time. Battery, winner of international awards for quality. Ito ang uh, crucial possession. Pinasok ng uh, Alaska si Coach Winyo. Johnny Aparientos. Yun. Meron pang uh, buhay, Dr. J. Dahil gaya na sinasabi namin, ang haba nitong oras na to, 8 minutes. Yeah, we've seen a lot of things happen in eight minutes. You know, this is not really a big deal. That's only seven points at this stage. And that's way, way, a uh, lot of basketball to go. Chris King setting up. Pero nakita mo, very, uh, ano ang kanyang mga movements. Naku, naka-reverse pa si Baldabit. Ang depensa ng uh, pupuna ng Alaska, Dr. J. Kopp, nothing that time. Tatlo dinaanan ni Baldabit. Yeah, Holland should have helped out, you know. I mean, uh, but he, he tried, so he forced the beat to go to the reverse. But uh, wala naman nakatulong from that side. Hindi pa nagkaagawin doon yung dalawang oh, player. Ba yun, Kevin Holland, nabibitawang pa bola ang kanyang yes. pukul. Ayun. Ito, si Kevin Holland springing back to life. Ibinababahan ng konti ang lamang to... Ito, 7 pa pala. Akala mo, maliit-liit na. But, 7 minutos pa natitira. 7 minutes, 7 seconds. The king is just spotting up on the other side. Yan. They're just spotting up. They're spotting him up. That's all. At rebound nakuha. Pero nadukot naman ni Johnny Abariento sa likod ni Marlo Aquino. At ito, maglalakad na lang si Marlo. Magaling yung kanyang binabantay si Kevin Holland. Hindi na rin makatakbo. Pareho na silang pagod. They've played a lot of minutes in this ballgame. Johnny Abariento. Pinaanan si... Baldabid at ito, naaalarman ng konti ang Gordon. They want their own timeout. Ang kumudan po ng Alaska 
of Gabriel Wingard rotation John Barrientos and Boyd Fernandez Anong move ito Dr. J? Well I think he wanted to give Lastimosa a rest and then he wants to put some speed on the ball game I, uh, I think you see like Valdebit had a very important shot that he couldn't put, very put down so I think yan nakita rin ni Sunny na kailangan gamitin na rin niya si Pito Haraisio no? but he has to wait for the next dead ball situation Si Commissioner Jun Bernardino intently watching the game, of course, with uh, Mr. Eddie de Guzman. The Senate, uh, Congressman John Osmeña, former Senator of the Republic, of course, from Cebu. Nakaasyos na malapit, Dr. J, and uh, slowly ang Alaska inching its way back into this ballgame, just down by three points. Pagod na si Marlo Aquino, that's why when he double teams, when he comes back, it's just a little bit too late. Ayan ang post-up play para kay Winston. He has the advantage, but Boy Fernandez not backing down from this matchup. Bukasi Kusting, he will take a three-pointer. Wala. And loose ball foul ang itatawag, a deliberate foul at itatawag dito kay Baldabid. Ay, Noli Loxin yata. Ay, Noli Loxin ba tatawagan? Number foul, number six, Dr. J, yung mga klase ng mga fouls that you give up na hindi kailangan. So obviously, yung paggamit ng kung anong nando sa in between the years kailangan sa ball game nito. Yeah, let's see this play. You see, uh, backing out ang ginagawa dito ni Boyd Fernandez. And of course, Loxin so much bigger than him. So Loxin will have to sit out uh, three minutes, no, Dr. J? Yeah, yeah. As a deliberate foul na ito na tinawag sa kanya. He was fighting for that uh, possession. Ikatulad nun, si Boyd Fernandez, alam mo, pesky ito, aasa rin niya talaga nito. Mm. Hihingiin niya yeah. yung contact. Correct. Eh, tapos medyo inartehan niya ng kote. Nahuli si Nuli. Ibabalik si Terry Saldana was turned out to be the biggest thorn sa panig ng uh, punahan ng Alaska. Si Terry Saldana scoring 8 points and pulling down a total of 11 rebounds. In the third quarter, Dr. J. Well, the gamble dito si Cohn, and it might be paying off. He's using uh, Abariento's and uh, Fernandez together. And medyo nakabalik sila from a nine-point deficit. Now they're only down by two, down by one. May possession pa sila. This game is not yet over. At Dr. J, yung gamble na sinasabi natin, giving up size, but uh, merong konting ball handling and speed has worked, to, uh, has worked wonders para sa Alaska. Pa, ang uh, hahabuli nila ay isa lamang, 73-72, and they have ball possession. Yeah, matagal pa itong laro na ito. Both teams have three timeouts. They have 20 and the 30 second timeout yet for the whole fourth quarter. Anybody's ball game at this stage. Johnny Abariendos against Pido Carenzo faking off. Ang kanyang tira, and that's the lead para sa kunan ng Alaska. Ito talaga ang player na talagang nagdadala pabalik sa Alaska. Another prime time player, Dr. J. Yeah, definitely. 1996 MVP Johnny Abariento gave Alaska its lead, regained the lead actually. Nine seconds to shoot, eight seconds to shoot. Harenzo exploding again from one side. That's a three-point shot, his sixth of the ball game. Well, alam na ni Jaworski, this is clutch time. You used to go to the pressure player and he has gone to Pedro Harenzo and uh, JB Gayosa in backcourt. No? And what a time for that explosion to come, Dr. J. A timely ang uh, pagpalit. Si Kevin Holland with a slam, making a statement, Dr. J, that it ties the ball game and uh, Holland with 21 points in this ball game total. Well, nakakapunto siya because King cannot help out. Eh. He cannot jump. Eh. So, ang nangyayari, tumutulog si Marlo Aquino, hindi naman makakover si King, which usually what happens is King is able to cover Holland on the pick and roll play. Barely crossing that uh, half-court mark. Ang kupuna ng uh, Dordons, 10 seconds to work around to it. Ni double team ki Chris King. You can see yung kanyang uh, limited mobility. Marenzo, ibigay ki Terry Saldana, 3 seconds to shoot. Saldana over shoot the mark. At ito ang possession para sa Alaska. Ito ang twin guard rotation, Dr. J, working wonders para sa Alaska. There's a pick and roll play again. Uh, they, they jump out. No? They jump out. Eh. And off. Johnny Abariendos working on an 8 second shot clock. 5 to shoot, Abariendos yeah. again! Alam mo bumabalik na dito, nakaupo si Hawkins, nakaupo si Lastimosa, and lumamang na dito ang Alaska, 3 minutes and 50 seconds. So premature ang mga celebration ng James. And King, really not much of a play, uh, effective player. Let's see what he can do. Ito, malaking gamble ni Jay, uh, Big J. Uh, at si Terry Saldana. At yun, Dr. J, ang pasa ni Marlo Aquino from the post, ang high post siya. Inilaglag na Terry Saldana who has 10 points in this ballgame. Yeah, this is gonna be another one of those photo finish ballgames. <laughs> Ayun yung mga sakit sa puso. Huminom muna ng malamig yung tubig or kung hindi, huminga ng konti ng malalim-alim at sigurado. 
Pamatay po, pamatay dibdib na naman ito. Johnny Abriantos again taking charge. Boyet Fernandez, three! And that's the three-point shot for Boyet Fernandez. The first three-point shot of the ball game para sa Alaska. And it came from a guy who is off the bench player. Huh? JB Gayoso having a hard time bringing down that ball. Ito si Marlo walking at the post. Ando si Terry Saldana. He won't shoot from that spot. Ando si Marlo Aquino. Tiniin ni Marlo yun. Bringing them to only one right now. Still Alaska on top. 2 minutes 45 seconds left. First 2 points ni Aquino sa quarter. 17 points total para sa skyscraper. Johnny Abarientos. Ginagamit ng konti ang oras. Boyd Fernandez. 8 seconds to shoot para sa Alaska. Johnny Abarientos. Hindi binibigay yung uh, kabilang side which is uh, usually strong side na agaw ba ang bola. And Gordon's again. Jay Vigayoso now playing the role of point guard. Well, pwede yan. Dahil marunong yung siya magdala ng bola. They go to king at the post. They're looking for the double tag. Siguro sabi ni Kim, pag hindi niyo ako i-double team, pipilitin ko na ito. Aba, Dr. Kim. Oh, hindi kayo magdo-double team. Eh, siguro naman, kaya ko ito. <laughs> and limping, Chris King, his first two points of the ball game, but pinaka-importanting oras dumating ang two points. Yeah, naka-free throw siya kanina. So, that's his third point. Eh, tumawag. It's a full timeout para sa Alaska. Okay. Club Roman Traditional Fit. Club Roman Jeans and Shirts. Club Roman. We're into the last two minutes, and the last two minutes is brought to you by Ju Premium Dry London Gin. Now available in 750 ml. Aparientos nakaligtas. Basket count. At merong foul kay Pito Harenzo. Well, maganda yung play na yun with uh, bringing uh, just Lastimosa back into the ball game, then isolating for Johnny. Johnny is taking charge here in the fourth quarter, leading them back by scoring, passing off. So, back to the lead para sa Alaska. One point, they have a chance for a, po a two-point lead if Johnny can complete the three-point play. Malayo pa itong laro na ito. Marami pang pwede mangyari dito sa labanan na ito. Sobra, Dr. J. Ang uh, inilalarong ito after uh, after watching this ball game, ito tinitignan nyo ang uh, mga kongresistang hindi naglalakwat sa ngunit uh, walang trabaho ngayon. Sa linggo ngayon. Sa linggo ngayon. Kapi na eh. Saka, you know. Manonood ng ball game yung mga yan. Of course, that was Congressman Miguel Romero. May timeout ang Gordos. Is a full, full timeout by ito, 20 seconds. Stoll! Ice. And then Astro with the time down to a minute at 41 lamang ang uh, Alaska ng uh, dalawang puntos. Dr. J, biglang uh, bumaliktad yung uh, mga pangyayari. Well, syempre, eh, yung Alaska, led by Johnny Aparianto, so cutting themselves back. Uh, medyo they regain their composure. Medyo nakaka-score na si Holland dahil nabibigyan siya ng magandang feed sa inside. And you know, even though King is there, he might be a liability that he has very limited movement. Pero pag gaganyan din naman nila kay Lago na hindi nila ito double team, eh, may problema sila. Ipakita mo, Dr. J, yung kapasa, ilalaglag na kay Chris King. We have a tight ball game at 84. Johnny Aparientos has been the go-to guy. 17 points in this ball game. Pataki Holland. Holland with a two-hand slam. Well, hindi ma ilang beses na ginagawa ni Aparientos yan. Pero naoobligan tumulong si Marlo. It should not be Marlo that should help us. But should be another player from the other side. The yeah. other prime-time player, Dr. J. Going to work in this ball game. Yeah, that's Johnny Aparientos. That's a tight pass. Pero nakuha rin. Gayoso thinking, thinking three. Bukas si Harento sa gilid. Harento, three points. Oh, yes! What shooting! What a game! Machino, ah! Pambihira nga uh, talaga. Woo! Ayaw matalo yung dalawang kuponan dito sa larong ito. Pambihira ang laro ito. And merong 20 second timeout na itinawag ang Alaska. At uh, this 20 second timeout brought to you by Lord Bulldog. Ito ang tira. Teka mo na. Merong kaming uh, koneksyon. Gusto ng Alaska, a full timeout. Hindi po magkamayaw ang mga tao dito sa loob ng Cuneta as uh, they're still releasing the three-pointer connected by Pido Jarencio, his seventh of the board game. The record for the playoff series stands at eight and that was scored by Sanjaworski against 
at di nahawak-hawak ng aking partner. Hindi na makasama lang tayo doon, <laughs> Yutex. So, medyo masakit nga yung 24 from the three-point territory. So, magaling talaga si Sunny, a great shooter from that area. But here, one-point ball game para sa Gordos. Bola ng uh, Alaska. Bumalik na si Bong Hawkins. 58.7 ang gulo nito. And may fouls to give pa ang Gordos. Isa Alaska has three fouls to give. Ha? Pero niyat lang uh, humihingi ng uh, is this another timeout. Hindi po. Magpapatuloy ang, uh, ang action. 58.7 seconds left dito sa ating ball game. Ang score po natin, 87 para sa Gordon, 86 para sa Alaska. So you're gonna see Johnny isolated, pick and roll. Alam nila, tutulong yung mga yun. At ito na si Pino Jarenzo, applying the pressure. Walang bukas. Lastimosa will take a three-pointer. It's long. Rebound. Nagpapatay sila Chris King. Pero makukuha ni Poch Winyo. Hindi makatalun si King, pero he tried to jump and get the ball. What heart, Dr. J? And a foul by Pino Jarenzo. Too early. You were saying too early. That's gonna be the 15 foul. That will put them in the penalty. But I think Jarenzo wanted to calm down his teammates. Eh. Kaya binigay niya yung foul na yun. Gigil na gigil sila. They're on top by a point. 87-86. Ang oras, 35.2 seconds. Ang lamang po ay ang Gordon sa Alaska. Ay meron, ng, uh, meron bang uh, mga fouls and gigib. Ang Gordon sa nasa penalty na. They go to Johnny Abariyentos. He is the man sa quarter na ito. They go to Hawkins now. He has a mismatch there. Tako ang pasa ni Paul Quinio. Walang tao doon kung pinasa niya. Akala niya sa likod niya si, si uh, Holland. Pero wala palang tao doon. Now, useless mag-foul ang Alaska because they have three fouls to give before they get into the penalty. Yan ang isa. They just gave one, Dr. J. At ito ang jubilation ng uh, kupunan ng uh, Gordons. Unti-unti nilang nararamdaman. Okay. Nung pumasa, wala na si uh, Holland. Papasok na. Miscalculation. Well, he, he doesn't have bias in the back. No? Pero kumakata si Holland. Kala ni Holland siguro na ito na. Sasaksak pa siya. Di kailan rumibaw na ko. Very Saldana. Wreaking havoc dito sa team na ito. And another foul given up na kupunan ng uh, Alaska. Si Hawkins, that's the fourth. One more before they land in penalty. Winyo papalitan. At na pinaalala namin sa Martes, simula ng alas 7. Game number 4. Kung makakalamang ang uh, Gordons, makakailangan pa sila ng isang laban. And that's on Tuesday, alas 7 ng uh, gabi. At hatid sa inyo ng Vintage Sports, ang finals ng Commissioner's Cup. Now, Alaska is in the penalty with 17.1 seconds left in the ball game. Story sa timeout. Sa Gordons, may tatlo. Ang Alaska, meron na lamang isang full timeout. 87-86 is the score. Team Don, a beleaguered man at this point. But they foul Vince Season. They have to foul to stop the clock. But there's the, and the worst he has sent all of his good shooting uh, free throw shooters on the floor, except for Marlo Aquino. Malayo si Marlo. Ni hindi gusto tumagap na bola ni Marlo. So far, Vince Season has yet to miss a free throw shot in this uh, board game that is series the win season is 77 percent and big free throws coming his way with 16.1 seconds left in the ball game all important free throw shots para kay win season yung focus niya importante rito he strokes the first and he misses Dr. J. And that's where the pressure comes in. This is where they've always questioned Vin Season. He's had a good series, but again here, could he be choking? Alam mo, pinili talaga ni Gayoso yun. Ayaw niyang pasahan si King. King was open, Harenti was there, pero he waited for Heeson to come to him. Heeson for his second free throw. Violation yan! Violation si Gayoso, and that's gonna nullify the free throw shot. Correct. Ang laking bagay nun, Dr. J. That shot could have counted, but Gayoso came in just before the ball was released. At meron full timeout ang Alaska. They just down by a point, 87-86. That was it. Dr. J, I think we've seen it all dito sa ball game nito. JB Gayoso, he entered the lane too soon. I don't know why. Maybe wala siyang tiwala kay Bean Season after he missed, missed the first free throw. And so he was called for the violation by entering the lane too soon. He nullified the free throw shot that was made by Bean Season. At alam mo, nakikita natin from this side, Dr. J, dahil malapit tayo sa dugout na natin sa bench ng Gordon, sa galit. This is the worst. Dapat naman siya magalit because everything is on your side. He just uh, choked under the first uh, free throw, but he made the second. At also, inalis lang kakampi niya dahil nagka-violation. Eto, kumapit kayo mga kaibigan. 
Abarientos hawak ang bola. Abarientos makakalusot. Bukas si Lago. From the corner. Lago, sobrang tira. No more time. No more time. Naubo sa oras. Gordon takes a commanding 3-0 lead sa seryeng ito, Dr. J. At nagkakagulo po dito sa loob na kuneta. Lahat na tayo. As Gordon takes a commanding 3-0 advantage in this best of seven series. Si Sonny Jaworski nilapitan ni Tim Cohn and Sonny Jaworski pinipilit natin hatakin. Magpakabatong batong ang mga players. Hindi pa tapos ito. Sa championship pa lang ginagawa yan. Pero nararamdaman nila ata Dr. J na meron na silang naaaboy na championship. Nagyayakabang sila. Baka nakakalimutan nila. There's still one more game to go. And Sonny Jaworski pinagkakaguluhan ng mga tao dito. Mababayaan natin i-release nila ang kuguluhan na natatamo dito. Si Sonny Jaworski being let out sa tami na nagkakagulo sa kanya. Final score, 87 to 86. Magbabalik po kami. So, you want a cell phone? At nandito na po tayo sa Cuneda Astrodome. Pagkatatapos naman ng Game 3, Gordon's winning 87-86 over Alaska. And one of the best players of the game ay uh, itong si uh, Pido Jarencio. Pido, you made 7 out of 8 3-point shots ngayong gabi. Mukhang uh, sineryoso mo yung harmony, Coach Sunny, na o oh, yung walo ko, ginawa ko, finals. Ikaw, finals din ito. Uh, hindi, uh, yung rhythm ko nakuha ko eh. Maganda lang ang ang bato, kaya tira lang ako ng tira. Eh, sumasama yung umpisa nyo dahil... Uh, wa- kayo ba naapektuhan na nalaman nyo dito sa dugout na si Chris King hindi maglalaro? Oo, oh, medyo nung umpisa dahil malaking bagay sa amin si Chris eh. Dahil si Chris din nagdala natin sa atin dito sa championship. At saka, uh, siyempre yung team, yung kabilang team, nagdo-double sila eh. Kaya kami, paano kami malilibre kung hindi, mal- kung hindi do-double sa kanya? Every time nagsasaret and mag-pull away itong uh, Alaska, ikaw ay uh, pumapasok with a big basket. Is this, uh, pinapakita mo lang na ikaw yung veterano dito sa Gordon at ikaw dapat ang uh, mamaya ni sa iyong mga kakampi? Uh, bali, ginagawa ko lang ang role ko para sa team. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Pido. 3-0 na ito. Matagal ka na hindi nagsa-champion. Although four wins ang kailangan, naaamoy mo na ba? Oo. Oh, uh, sana, sana. Ito ang Tuesday uh, makuha na namin. Uh, babati lang ako. Okay. Uh, unang-una, uh, maraming gabi sa inyo lahat. Uh, magandang gabi sa inyo lahat. Uh, binabati ko si Fe, si Jaren, si Gia, si Jiko, si Janelle. Tapos uh, si sa Daddy Ben, si Daddy, mga Pisaro family, sa Manuel family sa Bataan, sa Pilar Bataan. Tapos si mga kamagana ko sa Iloilo, sa Kapis. Tapos si Nonoy. Si Parin Pit, tapos si, ano, ah, uh, mga ba ito? Ah, uh, mga karate sa San Pablo, at saka kay Coach Bajon. Ah, uh, nandito na tayo, Coach. Sana makuha na natin to. Okay, ito si Pedro Jarencio. Hindi lang magaling magmemorya ng play, magaling, magaling din magmemorya ng mga babatiin niya. So, congratulations, at tayo ay uh, magbabalik pa ulit dito sa Cuneta Asodong. Well, you see an import that's injured making some baskets when his team needed it. Uh, Pido Jarencio coming up with some big... Uh, Johnny Abarientos on the other side, Holland picking his game up. Pambihira yun eh. No? Sometimes you begin to wonder, is Gordon destined to be the champion? Sa San Miguel, sabihin mo, talo na yun eh. Diba? Five points, 40 seconds to go against a team that knows how to control the game. You know, they're very, very lucky, uh, but because they're been playing very well as a team and their defense is holding up. Ibang klase mga kaibigan, at ibibigay po natin ng award. Itong isang to, eh, talagang may pagmamalaki namin ibigay. Very Saldana played what probably could have, could be the best game of his, uh, masabi natin na patapos na karir. Yeah, yes. We had two bad players of the game. Actually, that's Pito Jarencio for all his uh, all-night brilliance. And then Terry Saldana, I think, came up with one of his biggest games. Hindi na lang yung 12 rebounds, may puntos pa siya, maganda ang defensa niya. All those things made Terry Saldana one of the other best players of the game. But Colin Hill came in today with 14 rebounds, 8 and 6. Came up.